Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you the files that has been removed or added in the Laravel 11 as compared to Laravel 10. So let's get started. On the left hand side, I have Laravel 10, and on the right hand side, I have Laravel 11 directory structures. First of all, let us see what is inside the app directory. So if we go here, there are only now HTTP models and providers, but here in the Laravel 10, there were console exceptions and these are moved to another file as you can see here inside the http we have controllers and inside that we have a controller so here inside http we have controllers middleware kernel everything has been removed and there is only controllers and also inside the controllers we have this controller if you see here it is extending the base controller and there are so many other things but here in our latest laravel there is nothing it is just an abstract controller and it is not extending any things because most of the time we don't need these the middlewares and kernels these are also moved to the another file which i'll show you a little bit later now let us move to the models this models and this is the same thing okay and inside the provider in the laravel 10 we had so many providers over here there were five but now inside the providers over here we only have app service provider because most of the time we don't add anything in others providers yes we do some changes but if we want to do something globally then we can create our own provider so you can see here inside the app service provider we have only these things over here which is as previous but we only have app service provider now now let's move to the bootstrap folder you can see here we had cache and app and here we have cache app and providers and previously i told you that we didn't have any other providers over here but whenever we create a new provider the laravel will automatically add it over here you can see here app service provider and we don't have to register it it will automatically register for us this is the new feature and if you see here in the app.php it used to look like this but now if you see here the new app file looks like this which is much more cleaner and you can see here we can define routes over here the middlewares that i was talking about over here so all the middlewares that we have over here we can now define it over here and the exceptions we can do so these exceptions we can define it over here and this console we can define this in the next part i'll show you so here the app has also been changed so now here this config you can see here there are a bunch of files which we don't even look at whenever we are developing our laravel application but if you see here in the new config directory we have very less config files which we might need to modify so so many things have been removed okay a few files have been added so this is the things that have been removed and if you see here in the database also there is something that has been changed okay many might not have noticed that but if you see here in the migration file it used to have the timestamp in the file name but now here in the migration you can see here there is no timestamp just there is the incrementing numbers in the file so after this let us go here in the routes so here in the routes folder also we have only console and web.php and api and these channels are now not added by default because by default any laravel application don't use this api and channels okay and here inside the console you can see here this command we can define and also all the things that i told you about the console over here now this can also be defined over here and there is new facade called schedule you can see here illuminate support facade schedule and using this we can schedule any cron jobs over here i'll remove it for now and then the final thing that has been added over here is inside the test you can see here this creates application is over here but now here in the test creates application has been removed and it has been integrated inside this test case and all the other things are same as before so i hope you knew what are the files that have been added and removed in laravel 11 and how to access those and obviously we'll deep dive into this in the later videos so thank you for watching have a great day bye